We're uncovering more and more ways that Kansans stand out from the crowd. Here's another one that you'd never guess. We dove in deep to get this one. You've no doubt seen them in movies. This is actually a World War II training film. Now the diver in this film is wearing the exact same kind of helmet that Don and Jenny Creekmore have on display in their basement and their living room. But this is just the tip of the iceberg for the Creekmores. They're the largest dealers of antique diving helmets in the entire United States. As a collectible today in the 21st century, that's why pe people like these helmets. They're complicated looking and they really are. They're a piece of American history and they helped uh, win the war uh, just because they're built so good and such a great design. My uh, sweet husband here actually introduced me to the diving helmets and I just find them to be kind of scary and fascinating and what kind of person actually has to be brave enough to put that big contraption on their head and all that heavy gear and to have the brute force and strength to haul it around. These history buffs first became fascinated with diving helmets when Don came across one at an estate sale several years ago. That's when they realized that collecting diving helmets was actually a thing. <laughs> They did their research and got into the business buying and selling them around the world, something that would have been tough to do in Kansas before the internet. A couple days ago, somebody called from Switzerland and they said, you know, where are you at? And I told them, Kansas. I could hear them on the computer looking up where Kansas was in the United States. And then they're like, what? what? <laughs> and people in Florida, California, they, they want to know, because essentially we have become the biggest diving helmet dealer in the country. And so people every day almost question, what are you doing in Wichita, Kansas? The Creekmores do their shipping and receiving out of a shop downtown, but they bring the business home with them, as you can see. This is a, a diver's air pump, and this particular one, it dates from 1903. And you would have had two guys, one on each side, sitting here cranking away uh, for as long as the diver needed to work down there. So really, literally back-breaking work. Don really enjoys the historical touch and feel and knowledge about the item itself to where I thoroughly enjoy meeting people around the country, the United States, as well as our foreign friends. It is amazing to hear the different stories and adventures of how people have either utilized the helmets and the diving gear or just in general of why they themselves want to collect it. About the only thing the Creekmores don't know about these helmets is what it's like to actually dive in one. Yeah, that's kind of, as I say, a bucket list thing. I'd one dad really like to have not, just because it's so, there's not the opportunity here in Kansas. Um, Anyway, we could jump into the Arkansas River, but it probably isn't quite deep enough. Uh, the helmets are really just for display, and they're not cheap. The Creekmore say antique diving helmets can sell for up to $50,000 for a rare model in pristine condition. The most popular helmet, which was the one they've used most during the 20th century up until the mid-1980s, typically sells for seven dollars to $12,000. Their business is called Nation's Attic. You'll find a link to their website on the Positively Kansas page at kpts.org.